Yo, it's Yuji. Welcome back to Closet Talk. So today's video is not the same as usual, and we are going to get a little controversial because we are discussing something involving real people, and that happened in recent times, as in, I think, like, today, as I'm recording this video. As everyone knows, I'm a big Hololive fan. And back when I got into the Hololive rabbit hole way back during like COVID, so like 2020 era, there was a VTuber by the name of Lucia. And she was one of my favorites at the time because of just her chaotic energy and the fact that she would be has like she has zero idea of mic control. So her mic would peak every other second. It was just really funny to me at the time. But then due to like sudden unforeseen circumstances like there was a termination of her entire account and her like connection with the industry so that was very sad and like the only information i had at the time was that it involved something with a japanese artist by the name of mafu mafu and like my god um i have so much to say right now because shit has gone crazy because as of recent, a lot of news came out about the real situation of what happened with uh, Lucia. And it, it involves Mafu Mafu, the, the artist. So basically, oh my god. I'm like really jittery right now because of the fact that this is just actually insanity. It's, it's, oh. So to get, to get right into it, supposedly uh, Mafu Mafu and Lucia had a relationship and they were married and during their marriage apparently lucia was just an absolute psycho and she would be like physically and like psychologically abusing her husband and like even cheated on him and everything and then it was just like very gross and very dangerous situations that came up and also just like mafu mafu was just like dealing with all this without properly like Man, I don't even know how to physically... I don't know how to say this. Oh, basically, it's really crazy. It's really crazy and scary, too. And it's just like, there's just some crazy-ass shit that's been happening, apparently. Like, apparently, like they had a cat. They had a cat. And then, like, Nushida killed the cat, but, like, blamed it on Mafu Mafu. And was just, like, doing some crazy shit like that. She, like, it's just really weird. Okay, first off, let me just say that they got divorced. But during that process, apparently she had her own place and like it's a place for two people. And like when he went to visit with like the divorce papers or something, that entire place was just trashed and just like a fucking manhole. And it's very crazy. And what I'm learning is that she not only ruined one person's life, but multiple people. So the information came out about a lot of reasons of her termination was because one of the main reasons was that she was doxing fellow Hololive members on the internet and uh that's like rule number one of no-nos in the fucking VTuber industry so basically like that's an immediate termination and I totally get that and like she was also just sharing information with third party members and that's just bad so it was just very crazy it was just very crazy but the thing is, like, after, like, Lucia left Hololive, she was given a very kind gesture from a different, uh, content creator by the name of Kaysong. And she is a wonderful person. She's actually, like, a good human being, right? And she expressed kindness and was like, hey, like, how about you join this other industry with me? And I'll, like, put a good word for you. Called the Shoujo. So she was able to get in, right? But apparently she abused the fuck out of that kindness and was just did even more things that just like ruined her reputation. And now like the Shoujo also cut her off from the industry. So now just all like, oh, like just shit is going downhill with this lady. But also she's just actually insane the bit has gone too far a lot of people think it's like oh these vtubers they're acting as a character when they're on stream but then in real life they're a different person not her apparently uh, she's a psycho in and out and it's kind of sad but really fucking crazy i'm still trying to wrap my head around this because i just read an entire article that was in japanese 
but luckily somebody went through the time to like properly translate it and wow it was just scary it's just very scary news so i just needed to get this out of my chest like i didn't i'm wow it's just ugh. Fuck. It's weird. It's really intense. And the thing is, the one thing I really hate about the idol industry is just the fan base because the fans are terrible, right? Like, I, I hate admitting that I'm an, like, an uh, idol fan because just so, like, it sometimes associates me with, like, people that are just terrible. They're like, oh, she did nothing wrong. Or it's all like, oh no, she wasn't the one being abused, it was the other way around. But again, like, this information is like, not clear, and plus it's like, Japan, so like, they love drama like that, and it's just a whole cultural thing. But like, even the West, here in America, people are just all like, I could fix her, or like, shit like that. Ugh, oh, it's just, it's just very gross for me. So I hate being associated with that, like, I am simply here for entertainment, and good singers, right? Because that's what I believe is what's beautiful about the idol industry. But then, of course, like, it's fucking Japan and just disgusting and, oh, it's just, oh, we're like, god damn it. The fact that all this shit came out, like, honestly, out of the blue, because I forgot about Lucia, all right? I, like, when she got kicked out from Hollow Live, that was like years ago, basically two years ago. A lot happens in two years, right? I just need to get that out of my chest. Man. Ugh. Fuck. Alright. Thanks for watching, everyone. It's been Yuji.